Once upon a time, I, the narrator and writer, me, Rose Mack, um, I couldn't make my mind up as to why the up and out crew were going to row a boat beastly, very, very beastly, down the Thames. So we just got straight to it and we'd just come to find out along the way, won't we? Which position is the artist? Because that's our ninja's seat. Fine with me, feel my biceps. <laughs> Press-ups and a really effective combination of biceps and hammer curls. Lovely, feel mine. Pints of iron. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes. Well, the initial drive comes from the legs. That's how you power your boat. How do you know this, Reg? <sighs> Did your father used to be a circus performer? Or your mother, a skydiver. Way. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, ladies. We've moved on from these jokes. Get with the tides. <laughs> oh. Lynn. <laughs> I'll cox you, ladies. Ensure we get to the finish. <laughs> Do you no. Know? No. No. We're keeping this PG. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're the perfect size cox, Ray. <laughs> <laughs> no, because he's small. As in, all good coxes are small. <laughs> <laughs> they are silly. You know what I mean. I do, Brenda. <laughs> right. Which one of you had your porridge this morning? Always. I had two biscuits and a cupcake. Well, that's not a good example to set, is it? <laughs> um, mm. Brenda, you're behind me then We're the pacemakers, the engine Let's get to it uh, <laughs> oh. There we go oh. Where are we going? No idea And so it was decided Ange, Ninja and the residents of Old Close Way Were going to row somewhere for something. <laughs> no. All dressed up with nowhere to row. Oh dear, they get worse. Now, you're all familiar with the feathering and squaring of the oars, aren't you? Aye. Eh? Um... Then it's 999 and ask for the Coast Guard. <laughs> well, that's reassuring. You're still good mates with Jesus, aren't you, Brenda? I am. Aren't I, Jesus? Aren't I? Jesus? <laughs> He's obviously not on his cloud today. Why's Reg got a float and we haven't? Who's the elf in safety? Morning. Morning, Swan. Are you off to the race? Race? Yes. Yes, we are. Where is it? Literally right behind you. Surprised you can't hear them. Rowdy lot. Oh, yes. We don't have our hearing aids in. I don't need hearing aids. I've got supersonic hearing. <laughs> well, good luck, crew. Hey? Good luck! <laughs> what? It's not what, it's pardon. Thank you, Swan. <laughs> no. Let's go race! <laughs> well, that escalated. Hi, Steve. Morning. Hi, Sir Steve. What a lovely day it is to be racing Olympic rowers. You've got a lovely boat. Guys, it's nice to be friendly, but remember, we are racing them. Let's get in the zone. And so it was decided. Ange, Ninja and the residents of Old Close Way were going to race Olympic rowers. Um, in a, what distance shall we say, 5,000 metre race? 5,000 metres, give over. A thousand is pushing it without my inhaler. Come on now, Miss Pints of Iron. At least 3,000 metres. How about we meet in the middle? 2,500 metres. We're going to race Olympic rowers in a 5,000 metre race. God. Honestly, lazy. Lazy. Fancy putting a group of pensioners up against Olympic rowers. Ange, you're forgetting your speech in the last episode. Believe! The greatest battles have been won through sheer determination and self-belief. We're all made of the same stuff. We can do this! Oh, yes. Come on, team. You've got this, ladies. We can win this. Let's make history! Righto. Ready! Go!
That's it, ladies. Strong start. Power from the legs. Oh, oh. oh. God's sake, Anne. Your oars are going in too deep, Doris. It's unbalancing the boat. Oh. oh, for goodness sake, Doris. Concentrate on your own rowing. Well, it's hard when you're tipping the boat. Get out of my way. Oh, focus. <laughs> we need to win. Keep those hands together, ladies. <sighs> Teamwork wins races. Oh, Come for on. goodness sake. Longer on the stroke, Ange. Don't wait. Anticipate. How far ahead are they, Reg? Oh. They're finished. Oh. I told you so. But, but don't, don't, don't worry. Keep, keep going. So much for self-belief. Moral of the story, ain't it? Work harder or lose. Not to worry. Oh, no. I've got crabs. <laughs> you duck <laughs> or sprinter. <laughs> That's right, isn't it, Reg? Caught crabs? Almost. And when you lose control of your oar, you caught a crab. Oh, caught a crab. <laughs> I know what you're doing, Rosie Mac. Naughty girl. Ah, oh, come on now, Brenda. Just row with it. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> oh, dear. Oh, dear. Terrible. They are terrible, to be fair. Easy oars, then. That's all right for you to say. Sitting there doing nothing. It means <laughs> stop rowing. Enjoy the river. Oh, oh, I'll let you off then. <laughs> you did great. They are Olympians after all. Oh, thanks, Swan. Very kind of you. We should have done better. I got cramp in my foot as soon as we started. You need a Guinness ninja. <laughs> oh, yes. I wonder if you could help me. I seem to be tangled up. <gasps> oh, no. Oh, you poor thing. I know who can help. Friends, I heard your call and I immediately put down my mirror. Book, can you help untangle our friend Swan? Oh, of course I can. For I am Bulk Powder. And there is nothing I cannot do. Where's your pen, pal? Uh, uh, gone. It's called a chemical cocktail. Not all people have been kind to us. Oh. Oh. There's a punchline, right? This is a comedy. Oh, I'm sorry. I lost my love too. And me. I don't like this episode. And me. No, Ange. Yours is in prison. You'll be out in two. Oh, yeah. But I have found great friends since. What's your pen's name? Penny. Oh, makes sense. Well, that's because a female swan is called a pen. If you need to explain the joke, it ain't funny. Oh, swan. Normally I can do anything, but this calls for the RSPB. Fancy a ride? OK. Thank you, friends. Goodbye, swan. Right. The mission's changed. We'll clean the river. And if you see anyone dumping anything, we'll add them to the cracker jaw list. And so it was decided. Ange, Ninge and the residents of Old Close Way were going to clean the river and possibly crack a few jaws. Yeah. Because whilst many of you are good people, amongst us, they've absolute... Water wa companies have been fined for dumping contaminated sewage in the river multiple times. That's what causes the chemical cocktail. I can't understand how they keep getting away with it. This cracker jaw list is really expanding today. Have you still got your knuckle toaster, Ange? Might need a hand. It's highly likely, but I can neither confirm nor deny being as everything I'm saying is being written down. <laughs> I'm always happy to lend a hand for a good cause, though. Although I have got a non-bum, so I'll need to stretch the legs soon. Well, let's at least fill a bag each. Turn around. Excellent work. Let me take these for you. <laughs> Swan's in good hands, and he's not just got lines around his foot. He was chatting up some birds in there. <laughs> hey, baby. Anyway, I'm off. My mirror needs me. Bulk powder, away! And even though it was the morning just ten minutes ago, the day was almost over, and a beautiful sun was setting. 
And although they did lose to the Olympic rowers... OK, we don't have to keep reminding everyone. They did clean some of the river. And so with Angie's numbum, they rowed off into the sunset. Hold up. If we row into the sunset, we'll have to turn and row back. Turn the boat around. Good sake, Ange! And so they rowed away from the sunset. Great! Now I'm being blinded. Should have worn my transition lenses. Oi, Brenda, tell Jesus to turn the sun down. I'm being blinded and I've got a numb bum, so... What well, can I just say? I think you all look rather radiant. Aww. Oh, do we? I can put up with a few rays. Yeah, don't turn the sun down, Jesus. He's not on his cloud anyway. <laughs> Honestly. What a load of old cobblers! <laughs>